Okay, so let's do uh, just a quick um, practice problem for you. So you can see how to solve any question about quotas that I could ask you on an exam, or just to give you some more uh, basic insights into how uh, quotas operate. So let's suppose that we have a domestic demand function given by 500 minus 2p, and a domestic supply function given by 50 plus p. And let's say the world price is equal to 50. <clears throat> so first off, is this country going to be an importer or an exporter? Okay, and I'm just going to draw the graph over here so you can see sort of visually what it is that we're doing. Okay, so there's demand and there's supply. And so what this question is asking us is will this country be an importer or an exporter? And so what we know from previous lectures is that if the world price is below this domestic equilibrium price, so if the world price is down here, then this country will be an importer. And if it's above this price, then they'll be an exporter. So the question becomes, where is 50 relative to this P star? Is it less than it, in which case this country would be an importer? Or is it greater than that, in which case this country would be an exporter? So we have to figure out P star. So to figure that out, we just set these two equal to each other. So 500 minus 2P is equal to 50 plus P. Okay. We can do some algebra. I'll subtract 50 from both sides, and I'll add 2p to both sides, and that gets me 450 equals 3p, and that means that p is equal to 150. Okay, so we solved. I'll put anything we solved for will be in red, okay, and that's where we got that from. Okay, so p equals 150. If the world price is 50, then we know that the world price is below that. We were given that, so I'm not putting it in red. And we know that they're going to be an importer. Okay. <clears throat> now, the second question I could ask you is, okay, well, how many imports at PW? So here, what we're going to try to figure out is at this world price, how many imports will there be? Okay, so we know that imports are equal to the difference between the number of things purchased domestically and the number of them that were produced domestically. So what we have to do is figure out how many are being bought at a price of 50 and how many are being produced domestically at a price of 50. Well, to do that, we just plug 50 into these equations. So quantity demand is equal to 500 minus 2 times 50, which is equal to 400. And the quantity supplied is equal to 50 plus the price, which is, again, 50, which equals 100. So we've solved for these two numbers, which is 400 and 100, which means that imports equal 300, right? Which means we are importing 300, okay? So <clears throat> now let's suppose that I set a quota, or this country rather, sets a quota equal to 120. What will be be the new price? Okay, so now we are given the fact that there's going to be some price, we'll call this PQ, like we've been calling it, there's some quota price that will exist 
such that q d2 minus q s2 is equal to 120. Okay, so we know that this distance here is going to be 120. And so what we need to find is this price. So what we want to do, since we know that QD minus QS is equal to 120, we just set that up as our equation. So QD minus QS has to be equal to 120. We have equations for that in terms of P. So let's plug those in here and solve. So 500 minus 2P minus the quantity of 50 plus P must be equal to 120. Now, one thing that a lot of people get tripped up on is this minus sign here, which is going to distribute not just to the 50, but also to the P. So this can simplify to 500 minus 2P minus 50 minus P equals to 120. Okay. Now if we combine like terms, we have 450 minus 3P equals 120. I will subtract 120 from both sides, and I'm going to add 3P to both sides. That gives me 330 equals 3P, which means that P equals 110. So now we know that P is 110. If so we know that the price is going to be 110 if the imports are limited to 120. Okay. Now I also like to ask a question of number four. How many more units will be produced domestically? Okay, so there, what we're trying to find is the increase in the quantity supplied. Remember, quantity supplied is all about production. Okay, so if I'm looking to find how many more units are produced domestically, what I want to know is how much did this change right here? Okay, so we were producing 100, which we found in this question, but now we want to know how much we're producing here when there's a quota. Okay, so to solve that, we know the new price is 110. We want to figure out how many are being produced now. So we plug that 110 in right there. So the quantity supplied is going to be equal to 50 plus the new price or the quota price of 110, which is equal to 160. Okay, so now we know that they were producing 100, and that came from here. So let me put 160 right there. Okay, we know they were producing 100, now they're producing 160, which means that there were 60 additional units produced domestically. Just to put these things in red boxes. <clears throat> okay. Now a fifth question, which I may ask just to ask it, is how many fewer units are consumed by domestic consumers. Okay, so I've asked in the previous question, we wanted to know how many more units are being produced by domestic producers, right? And in this question, I'm asking you how many fewer units are being bought 
by domestic <clears throat> by domestic consumers. Okay, and so the answer to that question, I'm not going to show you how to solve it, but the answer is 120. Okay, and I'm going to leave that to you to solve on your own. Okay, if you can solve that one, then you are well on your way to understanding how to use this graph to answer questions about international trade and the effects of quotas.